Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make my favorite Zobo drink. It's super easy to make, so without wasting time, let's get started. So for this recipe, you're going to need some Zobo leaves, which is also hibiscus tea leaves. I got this off Amazon and I'm going to put the link in the description box if you need that. You can also find hibiscus tea leaves at African, Mexican and Caribbean stores. Most of the packaged leaves are already cleaned and ready to use, but if you get yours at the local market, you want to rinse it because those ones usually contain sand. To rinse, put the zobo leaves in a large bowl, add cold water. All the sand and dirt will sink to the bottom, so you can just use your hands to scoop out the leaves like this. You can do this multiple times if needed. Next, I'll transfer the leaves to a large pot and get started on the other ingredients. For this recipe, you also need one large pineapple. Get a large bowl that will be big enough to fit the pineapple. I'm going to fill this up with water and I'm going to add vinegar. The purpose of the vinegar is to get rid of the bacteria in the skin of the pineapple since we're going to be using that to prepare the zobo. I'll soak the pineapple in the water vinegar solution for about 7 to 10 minutes. After that, I'm going to scrub the back thoroughly to get rid of any dirt. I'm using a kitchen brush that came with one of my appliances to scrub this, but you can use any brush you find or even a new toothbrush. After scrubbing, I'm going to put the pineapple back into the vinegar solution and I'll add in some baking soda. The baking soda is going to help neutralize the vinegar, plus baking soda has been found to be an effective way to remove pesticides. I'll let this soak in the solution for an additional one minute and then I'll rinse it off. Next, I'm going to peel the pineapple. I'll be using the pineapple skin to boil the zobo leaves. The pineapple skin has lots of enzymes and vitamins. You can read about the benefits of pineapple skin. Even when you're not making zobo drink, you can boil the pineapple peel just by itself. Add some ginger when boiling. Boil for about 30 to 40 minutes. Allow it to cool down. You can sweeten with honey or your preferred sweetener. Drink this when you're feeling a bit down or if you just want something refreshing to drink. It's a really great immunity booster and it's also great for your skin. I'll transfer the pineapple peel to the pot. I'm going to add some ginger. This is about a thumb sized ginger cut thinly. I'm also going to be boiling this with some cloves and a cinnamon stick to add some extra flavor. I'll add in water. I'm adding about 12 cups of water. You could add as much water as you want depending on how much um, Zobo drink you want to make and depending on how, how concentrated you want the drink to be. I'll let that boil for about 30 to 40 minutes and while it's boiling, I'm going to get started on the juice. To make the pineapple juice, I'll be using a juicer. If you don't have a juicer, I'll also show you how to make this using a blender. I'm using my new favorite juicer, which is by Nama. This is the J2 juicer. If you want this juicer, I'm going to provide a link for you in the description box. I'm also going to pin it in the comments. You can save up to $55 off or 10% off your order using my code. And the code doesn't only work for this juicer, you can also use it to save 10% off any juicer or accessory on the site. I'm done with the pineapple juice, I'm going to transfer this to a container. I won't be using all the juice for this recipe, so I'm going to store the rest in the fridge. And if you don't have a juicer, you can simply blend the pineapple juice with water using a strong blender. Take this and strain using a nut bag or a filter and you have your pineapple juice. Now that's done, I'm going to check the zobo. 
it should be ready now so i'll take it out of the stove and i'm going to strain this After straining, I'm going to go ahead and sweeten the drink. I'm going to add in the pineapple juice made earlier. I don't have too much of a sweet tooth, so usually only pineapple juice is okay for me. If you don't have enough pineapple juice or you like yours sweeter, you can always add regular sugar, honey or any sweetener of your choice. If you're adding regular white or brown sugar, you want to add that while the zobo is still hot so it can dissolve. Our favorite zobo drink is ready. You can enjoy this as a tea. You can enjoy this hot or cold. I like mine very chilled. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I want to give a big shout out to my amazing foodies and my subscribers who watch my videos regularly. I wouldn't be here without you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any requests for a video you want me to make, send me a DM on my Instagram or leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next one.